Ever feel like you were born in the wrong era? Like you're a bit too wise for your age? Or too chill for today's fast-paced world? Well, you might just be what folks call an old soul. Who is an old soul? As an old soul, you're a bit like a human peace sign. You're not into drama or conflict and you'd much rather keep things calm and harmonious. You're the one in your friend group who's always trying to smooth things over, mediate disputes, or offer solutions that everyone can agree on. To be an old soul is about more than having an enhanced level of maturity. It's about having a solid sense of self and forging your own path in the world. Have you ever been told that you're an old soul? Maybe you thought it was a slight against your age, but it is actually a compliment. People with old souls don't care about the superficial elements of society. It has a much deeper meaning and more complex interests. From a spiritual perspective, old souls are believed to be reincarnates from past lives. They have been here before and know how to navigate life in a mature and balanced way. There is also the school of thought that says we all have the characteristics of an old soul. We come into the world fully, awakened from our spiritual journey and the world set us back. If you have been struggling to fit in, but feel like an outcast around people your own age due to your ability to relate to older people outside of your social circle, you could be an old soul. You know how to step back and see the bigger picture. If you're an old soul, you probably don't get lost in superficial details. You understand that life is short and it's important to make the most of it, which means you're less likely to get upset over things that ultimately don't matter. You, you prefer to spend your time as meaningfully as possible, doing things that will bring you happiness or make a difference in the world. For example, if you're an old soul, you might not get what's so great about being popular in school or in the workplace. Popularity is fleeting, and you're more concerned with the bigger picture of where you want to go in life. Old souls also want to have a purpose in life. If you are an old soul, you're probably not the type to drift aimlessly. Here are other ways to know that you are an old soul. 1. You're a spiritual person. If you're an old soul, you likely have a sensitive, spiritual nature. Because old souls are related to reincarnation and spiritual awakenings, you may prioritize things like self-realization, seeking enlightenment, and spreading virtues like love and peace wherever you go. You see life as a spiritual journey and always look for ways to grow spiritually. The question is, do spiritual topics like reincarnation, life, and death appeal to you? Do you enjoy learning about spiritual beliefs or practices? You might be an old soul. 2. You prefer spending time with people older than you. Because your old soul is more mature than other people your age, you might decide to hang around people a few years older than you. Their maturity is closer to your own, making it easier for you to relate to them. It may even feel Comforting to be around older people because it's thought that their energy better matches your own internal energy. Are multiple people in your friend group older than you maybe even by several years? Did you get along better with adults than other children as a kid? You might be an old soul. 3. When you have lots of empathy and intuition, you may also naturally be more tuned into the bigger picture and the world around you, giving you traits of an old soul. For example, High sensitivity may help you take in the fine details of your environment and be more aware of when someone or something just doesn't feel right making you a wise and intuitive old soul. Ultimately, there is no proven way to become an old soul or any concrete way to explain the concept after all. Old soul is simply a term used to describe those who seem uncommonly mature for their age. 4. You seek out alone time. If you are an old soul, you tend to be introverted and like time to yourself. People with old souls need time to think and focus on themselves. Introverts are often considered old souls because they spend time reading and journaling and doing things that make them feel alive. Instead of focusing on an outward sense of purpose, they live their lives the way they want and find peace by themselves. Additionally, old souls are picky with people they choose to spend time with. They don't like superficial relationships. 
so they would rather be alone than being with people they don't relate with. As a result, they are often seen alone. 5. You feel connected to the past. An old soul as Somia Nuho tends to feel connected to the past. You look to your past and the lives of others to learn about the world. There is a feeling of special connection with those that are older than you and you cherish the information, knowledge and skills you have learned from them over the years. History fascinates you. Somehow, you ache to be a part of an era where life was simpler, where people are more connected by life rather than technology. And this is the way you want to live your life too. 6. You are materialistic. You rarely find happiness in material possessions or money as an old soul. What you value most are the things that can be bought. Friends, family, knowledge, peace, and security. You don't feel the need to follow the latest trends, have a high social status, or boast about having the most expensive technology or fashion. You may be an old soul if you feel like there's something more important than the material world around you. 7. You crave meaningful connections with people. If you're an old soul, you likely spent your childhood feeling lonely and finding it hard to make new friends and therefore, today, you look for sturdy, long-lasting friendships built on a genuine connection. You also tend to enjoy deep conversations over small talk. You might be an old soul if you prefer a few close friendships over many acquaintances. 8. You feel deeply connected to everything. Not only do old souls feel deeply connected to God, spirit, the universe, whatever it is they call it, but they also feel that with nature, the people in their lives, and even strangers. An old soul has a sense of connection to the universe and the, and therefore to other souls, Brailsford says, adding, we probably have that connection to everyone, but maybe it doesn't show up in this lifetime. 9. You have an inquisitive, curious mind. Old souls very much prioritize truth and wisdom. As such, they often have curious minds about what's happening in the world and internally, but not in a superficial way, Brailsford notes. Whether it's world events or your relationship with a family member or friend, it's the idea of being curious about what's emerging and what one might learn or cultivate through the experience, she explains. 10. You can see the big picture. If you're an old soul, you're likely able to see beyond appearances, Brailsford says. You're probably able to let things roll off your back easier, and you're less likely to be triggered by certain things. I'm not saying on a day-to-day -day basis you're not human and don't get angry, she adds, but overall, you're able to step back and see the bigger picture, whether immediately or a little later, and have a sense of what it was all about. 11. They see life through a different lens. Old souls exhibit mindfulness in a way that allows them to enjoy life and see things that others don't pay attention to. For example, a person who has an old soul takes pleasure in watching the wind rustle up the leaves on the trees, while a normal person might just walk by the trees without even glancing at them. An old soul takes pleasure in contemplating and thinking about life. They notice the laughter of a child, the beauty of an art piece, the lovely words of a writer. They tend to stop, appreciate, and think about life in a different manner. 13. Old souls overthink everything. On the flip side of the above-mentioned characteristic is the tendency to overthink and be overly contemplative. And this can prove to be very painful and challenging. Sometimes an old soul overthinks things to the point that they end up being indecisive. Even ordering in a restaurant can be a painstaking experience if they start thinking about what the best dish might be to choose keeping in mind the value for money, whether it will taste good, or if it's ethical to eat a particular dish. The simplest of decisions can stump them and they may feel overwhelmed by it all, which brings me to my next point. 14. They struggle in social situations. The tendency to overthink everything, along with the fact that they have a high emotional quotient and are highly empathetic, which makes old souls prone to social anxiety. The fact that they do not share the same interests as other people of their own age further adds to this awkwardness and difficulty in being around other people. Although old souls are confident, self-possessed, and calm on their own, 
they're not great with following the social etiquette that is prevalent in our society. They don't understand the unspoken rules of engaging with other people and they often find other people's egos and insecurities tiring. All of this makes them prone to social anxiety. 15. They form strong bonds with people of their kind. Continuing from the previous point, when they do find deep connections, they form long-lasting bonds. Whenever an old soul finds someone that they actually connect with on a deeper level, they tend to form strong bonds with these people. There is an unspoken understanding between such kinds of friends. They don't feel the need to make an outward show of their friendships, and even if they don't talk every single day, their friendships last for years and sometimes even decades. 16. Old souls often play the role of advisor or counselor. Old souls have such a profound sense of wisdom, people are often attracted to them to get advice and seek counseling. Friends, colleagues, young persons, and family members often position the old soul as the advice giver in the group. The old soul's life experiences have made them able to guide others in a wise manner. Because of this, sometimes the old souls feel overwhelmed and emotionally drained, but they still enjoy helping others. To give guidance to the people that is a thing of joy for them, there are still more characteristics of the old soul personality. If you can see yourself doing more than the five characteristics I listed here, then you are an old soul. When people call you an old soul, be glad to accept it. It's a lovely compliment because this characteristic acknowledges your journey to wisdom and maturity. Old souls don't let other people's drama and negativity get to them. They have the emotional majority to remain out of most people's drama. 